Johannes Vermeer was born on August 31, 1632 in Delft, Netherlands. He was a contemporary artist whose work focused on painting than anything else. The subjects of his paintings were mainly figures and landscapes, in which he captured with the use of various oils. His art depicted regular Delft citizens in illustrations of home or family life in the 17th century. Unlike some of the other Baroque artists, Vermeer was described as a painter of the people because he opened his studio to ideas of normalcy rather than imagination, and he had the ability to capture realistic images onto a canvas. Specifically, he allowed the viewers to interpret and understand his paintings to the extent at which they desired. His paintings could create images that almost seemed photographic in that time era. His paintings also showed dimension and space easily, and he could use the color palette masterfully to benefit and enhance his work. The Girl with a Pearl Earring In this painting, many Baroque-era characteristics are shown through Vermeer's ability to use light to enhance the effects of the right side of her face. In order to express shadows in the background, Vermeer uses a camera obscura, which is an optical device that projects an image of its surroundings onto a screen, or in this case, onto Vermeer's painting. He also uses a white-based lead undercoat for the painting to create a shine on her forehead, her headgear, and as well as her robe. Also in the painting, Vermeer sits the girl with a black background, and the brightness of the earring, her eyes, and her lips contrast between dark and light, also a trait of Baroque period painting. In order to texturize her skin and clothes, he uses a linear, smooth brush stroke. The undercoating of the girl's dress creates depth and allows the dress to be represented as realistically as possible. He added movement to this painting by finishing it off with a thin layer of clear paint. Vermeer makes full use of his colors by blending creamy tones and pigments to create the girl's skin, which then allows the skin to glow in the light in contrast with the dark background. The pearl is positioned lower than the ear, so one may think that the pearl represents her emotional instability in the form of a tear as it is rushed down the cheek. It could also symbolize her chastity and purity. This painting is named Young Woman with a Water Pitcher. In this painting, it is obvious that Vermeer created it by a soft smile on the woman's face, a trait that is usually shown in the realist painting by Vermeer to highlight her emotion and mood. She's not fully worried about the task in front of her, and this method was widely used in Baroque paintings. The painting portrays the typical and ideal home and duties from a woman in the era. The basin and water pitcher can represent traditional signs of purity. The composition of this painting emerges from the light source coming out from the window. This makes the window, the map, and the pitcher appear darker than the actual woman, and this method benefits the image in making the girl the center focus of the painting. The colors he uses in this are mainly ultramarine and black undertones. Such colors create a hue that is somewhat rich and add values to the painting. Vermeer expresses optical illusions with the use of his camera obscura, and the sunlight that comes from the window to hit the picture shows the contrast in the light to the darker areas of the room. The idea of naturalism is presented clearly in this painting because it is a simple image of a woman with a picture, but nothing more. This painting is named View of Delft. Along with paintings of people, Vermeer's focus also centered around landscapes. The composition of this piece is rooted in the portrayal of perception. Vermeer painted depth by showing the clouds getting smaller and lighter as he moved towards the center of the painting. And in the painting, he made the subjects ease closer and closer into the center. Whether that was from the dock on one side of the painting, the people at the bottom, or the stream floating towards the middle. Also, he used bold colors for the roofs and the areas where the sun hit in order to show the roughness of the stones. Vermeer also added sand into the painting, and this was helpful in that it created a 3D effect. The light in the clouds to the relation of the sun patches allow readers to get a sense as to the climate in the picture. One could realize this is a typical Baroque painting from the contrast between the dark buildings to the sun-stricken clouds or the realistic image of a simple town rather than an extravagant area. The use of lines in the stream also show motion in this painting as well, and the details in the painting is evidence from the sand and the paint from the stones in the lines in the stream, as well as the sunlight from the clouds.